The United Kingdom says it considers Ghana as a key ally in these times of global turmoil. Global economic meltdown and escalating geopolitical tensions are some of the key challenges facing countries around the world. However, addressing a ceremony held in Accra to mark the 75th birthday of British monarch King Charles III, the UK's High Commissioner to Ghana, Harriet Thompson, lauded Ghana's effort at promoting global peace. There's more in the following report. <laughs> Sounds and sounds from a joyful celebration. The 75th birthday party of the British monarch King Charles III brought together members of the diplomatic corps, government representatives and a cross section of the Ghanaian public. British High Commissioner to Ghana, Harriet Thompson, in her welcome address to the gathering, has told the deep relations between the people of Ghana and the United Kingdom, adding that Ghana is a key ally in times of global turmoil. On the range of global, regional and domestic issues faced by both our countries. That important role that Ghana plays on the global stage is well known and over the past two years we've worked closely as members of the UN Security Council. Ghana's presence on the council came at a particularly challenging time with Russia's unprovoked and illegal invasion of Ukraine and more recently the conflict in Gaza. It's been a kind of increasing turmoil, turmoil here in West Africa too, and Ghana's shown its leadership. As we celebrate tonight, let's for a moment turn our minds to those who are suffering horrendously in those and other conflicts, and let one of the things we celebrate tonight be Ghana's commitment to peace. In difficult times, you need to be able to rely on friends and on allies, and we certainly count Ghana among that group. National Security Minister Albert Kandapa, who led a government delegation to the event, called for increased collaboration and cooperation, especially in the area of security. Ghana and UK share a relationship. Ours is a relationship rooted in history. I must mention, we have gratitude. The UK Ghana security dialogue which was established in 2021 as part of efforts by the UK to support Ghana with its security defense concerns. It is a commendable venture most appreciated by me and my ministry as well as the security sector and Ghana would wish to see this particular project continue. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my fervent hope that the reign of His Royal Majesty the King will be marked by enhanced cooperation between our two countries for the mutual benefit of our peoples in the years ahead. Using the power of melodies and music, the occasion also presented an opportunity for a call to action in tackling climate change. This, Harriet Thompson says, is important to King Charles III. Plastic waste is a problem that the whole of the world uh, needs to get on top of. And the only way we can do it is collectively, because what starts out as waste in Ghana will end up as somebody else's problem because of how our oceans move. And it's about really finding ways to stop that plastic getting into the oceans in the first place. The theme for this evening's event is sustainability because of how important that is to His Majesty King Charles III. Let us again report for Joy News, Accra.